Hello and welcome to your art box. You should by now have one of these glorious things in your possession. I'm just going to take a brief moment to walk through all this and tell you what you got. We're going to start with our resealable box. It's got nice flaps here. It's going to hold tight and hold all your stuff in it. Um, I didn't put a label on it because you know what? This is going to be your art kit. So you can decorate that any way you want. Stickers, draw on it, paint on it, whatever you like. This is your art box. Make it yours. So when we open it up, here are all your supplies. Now what I don't have in here right now yet are your bags. Each bag is going to have the pieces you need for your project in it. There'll be color clay, there will be, ooh, where am I, some of this plain colored Sculpey clay which you'll be using for your painting projects. Each one of those will be sorted out along with a huge booklet that's going to walk you through step by step through your projects and give you links to the videos. You're going to get five bottles of paint, your primary colors, red, blue, yellow, plus black and white. So with all those, you should be able to mix any color you want. I'm going to include a color chart that teaches you how to do all that as well. This is a container of rubbing alcohol. You're going to use that to clean your brushes and also to clean any dirt or debris off your clay while you're making it. Polymer clay is very soft. So when you're working on it, it's easy to pick up fingerprints, stuff from under your nails. I have cats, it likes to pick up the cat hair. White clay stains really easily when you're working with other darker colors. So you can use your brushes and that alcohol to clean your clay off before you bake it so it looks just the way you want it. You are gonna get three different paint brushes. A regular sponge brush here with a wooden handle. And then two regular brushes. This is your detail brush. This is your basic brush. If you watch makeup tutorials, that's basically your detail brush, your crease brush, and your overall brush. You're also going to get four silicone rubber sculpting tools of different sizes and varieties. You're going to get a pointy rectangular one, an edging tool, a pointy one and then with a round end. You may not get these in the exact same size as I have here. Everyone's is a little bit different, so your art kit is completely unique. And then you are also going to get a set of dotting stylus tools. Put those up. This plastic's a little too shiny, so let me pop a couple of these out for you. You're gonna use the handles of these as your rolling pin give you a little bit more control, but the end of each of these, which are double-sided, have different size balls on the ends. That's to help you make indents, make textures. I'm gonna get some clay over here. Balls make holes. You can use this, the pin ones to make scratches. It's also good for fine painting. You can use these brushes to paint your nails as well with dots and stuff, but it's good for detail work like eyes, like spots, getting into the little nooks and crannies. And also if you do like the rock painting, like where you hide the rocks around town where other people find them, these are really great for painting those. So that is your kit. Feel free to start and do these projects whenever you want. Doing them in order is best just because I designed it so each one builds off the rest. So you start with a simple one that's going to teach you a little bit of the basics of clay. The next one will teach you a little bit of painting. And then the next one will build you up on sculpting and painting. So by the end, that big final book cover project, you'll have all the skills you need to make it however you like. Uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy putting it together. And I will see you later for your first tutorial.